Well, we know one of the reasons people love the holiday season is spending time with family and friends, but we also know for some this time of the year can be challenging due to tough conversations, complex relationships and the loss of a loved one. So joining us this morning to help us best navigate this time of year is a familiar face to all our News 19 viewers, Jennifer Wolf, a local therapist here, a local counselor. Jennifer, thank you so much for joining us. Whitney, thank you so much for having me back Absolutely. on such an important topic. Yes. All right. So we just have to be very honest and real. It can be tough tackling a lot of these conversations. So if somebody is uh, going to a holiday dinner, what are some topics that should not or should be brought up? Very good question. Well, definitely I would stay away from finances. I would mm -hmm. stay away from politics. I would stay away from religion as if you know it's going to be a contentious yeah. topic, then it's better to just refocus and have that a time to being together for gratitude, mm -hmm. for the opportunity to be back together and to stay away from those topics that you know, hey, if Uncle Joe is going to go off on that mm -hmm. or, you know, this one's going to get upset, it's it's not the purpose of the gathering. Right, yes. we don't want Uncle Joe going off. Uh -uh. All right, so I also wanna have a conversation about um, navigating this time of year if you have lost a loved one. Yes. Um, I know this can be <clears throat> so tough and it brings up a lot of feelings. Uh, so how do you do that? What's the best way to cope? Well, I think perspective first, instead of saying, oh, it's gonna be horrible and it's gonna be awful without my mom, without my dad, mm -hmm. What? to say it's gonna be different. Yeah. So transitions, uh, traditions change yeah. as life circumstances deal to us what they do. Mm -hmm. um, so instead of saying how to navigate is to really say it's gonna be different, that I am where I am mm -hmm. and to acknowledge that sadness, to acknowledge, hey, maybe I wanna make cook the turkey, mm -hmm. but maybe I just want to stay in bed in my jammies mm -hmm. and watch Hallmark movies. Yeah. It's all about where you need to be. Um, some tricks can be honoring though, those traditions, because the wonderful thing when people pass from this life to the next is that the seeds that they plant mm. and the stories and the memories um, stay with us. Absolutely. And so how do you honor that? at a time of gathering. It's gonna be different, but how do you honor that as through the love? Because the love's not gonna stop. Exactly, now we have about 30 seconds left and you brought some things here for us. Tell us about what's on the table here. Sure, yes. These are actually cards from my own mom. Um, oh. She passed away two years ago. I think these can be very powerful to read mm -hmm. at the table or read in a family gathering. To simply say, you know, their cards, their notes, these are the seeds that were planted. Yeah. This is what's important. Some people also hear these are magic markers, construction paper. Um, some people have mental illness, they have risk factors, they're just not gonna do well. Mm -hmm. So have them write out uh, five support people mm -hmm. that during that time, these are people I can go to. These are books mm -hmm. for kids. These are oldie but a goodie, The Fall of Freddy the Leaf. Mm -hmm wonderful book on the passage from life to the yes. next. And the last thing, and I want to get him in, is this is a wonderful depiction of this life. Like you can take it and it's a caterpillar. Mm -hmm. So we're like this, but when someone passes, it's more, you can use this from a faith perspective, mm -hmm. from a story perspective, that it doesn't hurt. And yeah. once that somebody has passed, they're no longer in pain and they're somewhat of the butterfly. So this is a wonderful puppet yeah. to use, mm -hmm. especially with people of all ages. And you can get it off Amazon. Oh, I love that. Jennifer, yes. thank you so much. And my friends, if you are someone you know is struggling, don't forget that we have a list of mental health resources on our website, WLTX.com.